Hi, everyone. Happy GIS Day. My name is Tony Cushman, and I teach at Rolf Road Elementary School. Right now, we're in our brand new production studio, and I'm here with two very special friends. We have... Hi, my name is Stella, and I'm in grade three. Hi, my name is Hudson. I'm in grade two. Today, we want to tell you about how we used Esri software for a very special project. We surveyed the whole school using Survey123 to learn more about the experiences of the students at our school. We took that data and we turned it into some beautiful mosaic artwork. Did you guys have fun making the mosaics? Yes. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite part? I liked spreading the blue and putting the mosaic pieces on top. I liked to clean the mosaics. Stay tuned. We're going to tell you all about what we did and show you what this artwork looked like. This big school improvement initiative was designed to involve every single staff and student at our school. The Data Mosaic Project was led by myself and the amazing educator Alexandra Stefanoff in our roles as co-chairs at the school. The school improvement process at any school starts with working together to identify measurable goals based on the specific needs of learners at that school. These goals are intended to encompass student achievement, equity, and student well-being. At Ralph Road Elementary in Toronto, Canada, some of our most important school improvement goals include amplifying the voices of students, providing more leadership opportunities, providing opportunities for them to apply math to solve real-world problems, and the use of art to make learning more accessible to all learners. We are also committed to making sure all groups of students at our school experience positive, equitable learning experiences each day. We designed the Data Mosaic project to simultaneously contribute to these goals and gather data to tell us how close we are to achieving them. The school improvement process typically only involves the adults in the building. This project is truly unique because we invited all students, kindergarten to grade six, to actively engage in this process. We chose to do this because at Rolf Road, we believe that students can learn a great deal through their involvement and that our school can experience tremendous growth through what these young minds contribute. We began by designing a survey in Survey123 that all students would be invited to complete online and that would help tell us how close we were to achieving these school improvement goals. Our survey was divided into two sections. First, we asked demographic questions about things like grade, gender, race, and even a mapping question asking about the area where students lived so we could look for geographical patterns in the results. Hudson, I've got a question for you. Are you ready? Yeah. What kind of questions were on the, uh, the survey on the computer? Do you remember? What do you speak? What grade are you in? What teacher you are? What language you speak? There's a lot of other ones. The second section asked students experiential questions related to topics such as academics, inclusion, and student voice. Structuring our survey in this way with these two sections provided us with an important equity perspective, telling us both how our school is doing as a whole and also comparisons between the experiences of different groups of students within our school. We used ArcGIS operational dashboards to track the responses from students and were overwhelmed by the positive response from the school community. After all the data was collected, it was time for our kindergarten to grade six students to start analyzing the results and forming their own conclusions. We have 14 different classes at our school from kindergarten to grade six. For this project, each class was assigned a different survey question to analyze. For example, Miss Crowbus grade two class was assigned a question where students were asked, how often do other kids let you play with them at recess? The grade twos began their investigation with the inquiry question, how can we make sure all students at Rolf Road feel included to play at recess? The grade twos were very excited to see the actual responses to this question at our school. They were provided with all the data, including in the representation of a bar chart, a pie chart, a map, a stacked bar graph by grade, and a stacked bar graph separated by gender. To make the magnitude of the numbers in the data more accessible to our younger learners, our students were invited to use math manipulatives, such as snap cubes, to represent each of the amounts for sometimes, never, and most of the time. Students then use large graph paper to represent the totals for the three different responses to the question using our school colors, white, yellow, and blue, 
They then cut out these squares and used them to start designing what would become their mosaic. We gave the students the challenge of designing a mosaic using only the squares of the different colors that represented the results to their question. The even bigger challenge was to create a picture that not only related to their question, but also showed an idea for a student-led initiative that we could actually do at our school to make things even better. In this example, students used three different colors to show their idea for a school talent show to help the whole school get more opportunities to show off the ways that they are different. For this project, we wanted students to have the chance to work with a professional mosaic artist, and we were extremely fortunate to have found Maytap Murdogan. As you can see from these photos, Maytap is a brilliant artist. She also is an amazing educator. Our students loved working with her, and she taught us so much about the art of mosaics. Stella, did you like working with a professional mosaic artist? I loved it. What did you love about it? She taught us a lot of things about the mosaics and how to do it. Maytap was very patient with us while we explained the concept for this wild project that mixed mathematical and artistic representations. In order for the mosaics to accurately represent the precise survey results to each question, we had to be very precise with our measurements when dividing the sets of glass mosaic tiles. We wanted to use only blue, yellow, and white mosaic tiles, our school's colors, with blue representing most of the time, yellow representing sometimes, and white representing never for each question. Precisely one square inch of a given color represented the way one student responded to a given question on the survey. The math got admittedly quite complicated when making these calculations, even for the adults, like myself working on the project, and we had to design a special Excel spreadsheet to calculate the total square inches that we would need of each color. So Stella, this is the mosaic that your class made, right? I'll have to try to lift it up behind you. What was the question for your class? The question was, how do you feel at recess? I'm blue was, I'm feeling good and everybody is like including me. Ye yellow means um, most of the time I'm playing and happy with my friends. And the white? White means I, I don't feel included at recess. What's the look dark blue mean? <laughs> so, um, Stella, what does this mosaic tell us then when we're looking at this? Mosaic tells us that most of the people had fun at recess. Over the course of three weeks, Maytap led a mosaic workshop with each of the 14 classes in our school in which she worked with them to create their own mosaic based on the original design that they had come up with together in class. It all switches stations. Um, there would be um, a mosaic look at the station, a puzzle, and a, a book, and the place where you can make the mosaic. Oh, and there's a question spot where you can ask a, what, about the thing. Yeah, you, you would roll a sticky note and then it would put it on the board and she would answer that online. Students agreed that the most fun and also the messiest part of this whole process was grouting the mosaics when all the designs were completed. And finally, the moment that you have been waiting for, here are the 14 completed mosaics on display in the hallway of our school. This beautiful student-created artwork represents a lot of things. Mathematical representations of authentic school data direct from the voices of our students, artistic representations of student visions for the future of our school, and most importantly, this mosaic artwork represents our school's belief that our young students can use their academic skills to contribute a great deal to the culture and experiences at Rolf Road. Thanks so much to the Esri team for uh, supporting us with this amazing project. What do you have to say, Hudson? Thanks for explaining, it was so fun. I hope you do something like this at your school. And... Okay.